Extreme Trends presents A woman performs surgery on a butterfly with a broken wing, and the next day it surprised her. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Not everyone is aware that the beautiful pattern on a butterfly's wings is actually made up of thousands of tiny feather-like scales, and if handled roughly or sometimes even just brushed by a human hand, those scales can be damaged or broken off. You would then likely assume that once a butterfly has lost its wing or part of it, that it would no longer be able to survive. If a butterfly cannot fly, how will it find food or shelter? It would be safe to assume that there was literally nothing anyone could do to help a broken butterfly. But as it happens, there is a lot that most people don't know about butterflies. For example, many people assume that butterflies only live for a few days, or at most, a week or two. And while species like the monarch do have a short lifespan, they can actually survive anywhere from two weeks up to five months. Monarchs are also renowned for their annual journey, which often covers thousands of miles to their overwintering sites in California or the Sierra Madre Mountains of Mexico, and for their multi-generational trip back to the northern United States and Canada. Well, that is if they manage to avoid any injuries. Sadly, one badly injured monarch seemed fated to miss its migration. Fortunately, Romy McCloskey was there to lend a helping hand. McCloskey is a costume designer by trade, but she also raises and releases monarch butterflies at her Texas home. Her two careers would intersect when she actually performed surgery on the injured monarch's wings, an operation that saved its life and allowed it to fly away to migrate. A few weeks earlier, as McCloskey was looking over the cocoons at her home in suburban Houston, she noticed that her house cat, Floki, was swatting at them thinking that they were toys. Though she shooed the cat away from the area, it was too late. Floki's paw had knocked one pupa down, fatally injuring it, and left another damaged. It had a crack in the cocoon, McCloskey said. I thought, please don't let it die. A few days later, she watched as the butterflies started to emerge from the nine cocoons, eight healthy ones and the one cracked cocoon. The butterfly from the cracked one emerged with a mangled wing, and even after resting, it was unable to fly. McCloskey felt badly about it, knowing this meant the monarch could not make its famed migration to Mexico. She decided to help if she could. She posted a picture of the injured insect on Facebook, and a friend sent her a step-by-step -step tutorial video that showed her how to fix the wing. So Romy decided to turn her house into an operating room, but she would need a very special assortment of devices and tools to operate on this poor helpless little guy. All her years of expertise as a master embroiderer had her prepared for this moment. Romy was now about to attempt a rather intricate procedure, giving the butterfly the wing transplant it desperately needed. She documented the entire process over Imgur. Romy was determined to do whatever she could to save the butterfly, as they had always had a special meaning in her life. Romy's mother, who has passed away, told Romy before her death that whenever she saw a butterfly, she should know that I'm there with you and that I love you. Now this three-day-old butterfly was born with a torn wing and desperately needed her help. The operation wouldn't be easy, as it would require a set of miniature tools that would allow her to touch its fragile wings without damaging them or hurting him even further. She collected her medical paraphernalia, a towel, some contact cement, a toothpick, cotton swabs, tweezers, talcum powder, a wire coat hanger, and a small pair of scissors. Then it was time to perform the transplant. Unfortunately, one of McCloskey's other young butterflies had died a few days before, so she used her wing to give this little guy a second chance. Using the coat hanger, she gently secured the butterfly first, and then began cutting away any parts of his wing that were damaged. It kind of feels to the butterfly like when you cut your fingernails or your hair. Next, she carefully applied the contact cement and matched the donor wing to the original, using the powder to keep its wings from sticking together while the cement dried. The delicate operation was a total success and the little guy would live to join the migration. Romy wrote on her Imgur post that, though some of the patterns on her new wing don't match the original one, as she explains, the black lines do not match completely, and it is missing the black dot, a male marking, on the lower right wing. But with luck, he will fly. What could have been a tragic end for this poor little butterfly became, thanks to the help of a kind costume designer, a victory flight to its winter home. Thank you for watching this heartwarming story. Please tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing story.